was more just um, a hobby when I first started cutting hair. But yeah, the goal was, you know, just to do little by little. I've been I've been doing stuff for years, but now we've been doing bigger projects and just um, just everything's about giving back for me. I feel um, it's not enough things um, going on in the community to give back, so I'm trying to get more people to get involved, give back. I mentioned it to the owner here um, to see if we can uh, arrange an event. Um, we linked up together and uh, decided to uh, get this going. Uh, this is actually the first year we're doing this. Um, looking forward to continuing it yearly. Well, as far as this barbershop here, he's been here 20 plus years. Um, every year he's helped out with the community, does a lot for the kids. Um, just recently had an event for back to school. They gave out backpacks, uh, sneakers, free haircuts for the kids. I am one of the founding members of Biblioteca 451. It's a people's library in Holyoke and in Springfield. And some of our members put a bookshelf up here at Hair Hunters. So I met Frankie then and um, just been kind of following the work that he does in the community and finding ways for us to collaborate. So whenever he's got an event going on, you know, we look for ways that we can help out. Actually, it was pretty slow at first because I think people are really used to living in capitalism and feeling like they um, they need to give something to get something. And so it, was, it took a really long time for people to realize, no, you can just take the books and keep them, bring them back, bring them to another shelf, however you want to do it. I came from poor background, came from New York, moved over here. You know, 20, 20 plus years ago, and um, I know what it is to have nothing, you know, mm -hmm. so I know everybody deserves that second chance.